Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today's my name is Visha and in today's video we are doing a wash day routine and we are using Nevaeh. She has like 4B, 4C hair. Her hair has never been permed um, so it is still virgin hair. I never permed it. So what I'm doing right now I'm just one checking the temperature because I our water for some reason was like still really really cold but I am washing her hair with the Shea Moisture the Jamaican the black Jamaican Castro um, line so that's what I'm gonna wash her hair with I like to make sure her hair is completely soaked before washing it her hair escapes water like really really fast so I have to make sure like I drench her hair then I go ahead and I shampoo I make sure I get her scalp first always make sure I get her um, scalp first she has like that type of scalp where if you put too much oil on it or too much anything on it it does kind of get clogged so I make sure I wash her scalp twice you're just gonna see it right here one time I'm gonna go ahead and section off her hair too I split her hair into fours while I am washing it I make sure I go ahead and do that and this is her hair like after one month she had some braids in her hair and we took them out a week ago <laughs> i pre-pooed it and i just like saturday i woke up and i said you know what we just gonna go ahead and we're gonna wash your hair so she was rocking her bun for like a whole week but i was like nah we gonna we got up early too to go ahead and start it to get it out the way before i had ran errands um that saturday yeah so guys just sit back and enjoy the video i'm not i'm trying to not do so much talking because literally everything is like kind of self-explanatory but if i have to i definitely i definitely will at this moment too with me washing her hair i do not try to detangle it while i am washing it at all so now we are at the detangling process i had washed her hair twice it only needed to be washed twice when i am detangling her hair again like I told you guys before, her hair is in four sections and I finger detangle. She hates when I detangle her hair with the comb. Um, she honestly hates that. So I just finger detangle and if I have to use the comb, the comb is used in her head only one time during wash day or one time period during the whole time that her hair gets done. So I, we barely use combs. All right, so just guys, just go ahead and watch and see how I finger detangle her hair.
So with me detangling Nevaeh's hair, as you can see, even, even though that it is part in four sections, I do split her hair into rows and I detangle it that way um, to make it easier. Just I literally take my time. This is sped up, so it doesn't look like I took my time, but I usually take my time. It took me 40 minutes. Each section was literally 10 minutes. So it took me 40 minutes to detangle her whole head with that... Um, that deep treatment mask on her hair which I like taking my time it's a way for us to bond you know if she needs to talk about something this is the time now like where she would literally sit here and have a conversation with me so yeah just take your time when you're detangling your hair don't do hair when you're mad because you will rip it off so I'm just going to twist up this section and then I'm going to do the other two sections. I don't think I showed it here on camera neither. And then after that, I'm, we are going to sit her under the dryer for 15 minutes. Guys, I know I am in my kitchen. Um, <laughs> don't judge me, but I just prefer to be in one spot when I'm just doing her hair. So I only have like one area to clean up. So as of right now, like I said, uh, yeah, I didn't show it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put her under the dryer. I put a plastic cap on her head. And I have like one of those hot and go um, dryers, which I need another one like ASAP. But I go ahead and I put her under the dryer for 15 minutes. I do put it on the highest setting. Um, I don't know if she likes this part or she hates this part. Like she really never says, but... Her face kind of tells it all, like, look, right there. Her face tells it all. Her face is, like, kind of telling it all. I don't think she liked the dry urine, so I had to tell her to smile because she is on camera. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to do that for 15 minutes. Okay, so the 15 minutes were up. This is her hair after everything is completely washed out. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead, do her, this is where my routine becomes different during the winter time. I use more oils and more butters on her hair. Oil and butter does not moisturize the hair. What moisturizes the hair is water. So her hair was already moisturized from the warm water that we just got done using when I rinsed out the, the deep conditioner. And so what I do, I automatically, to you know, to seal in some of that moisture from that water, I automatically go ahead, my first things first, is to always go ahead and um, put it on her scalp. This is the oil that I created, that I, that I came up with, that works for her hair only because, like, I'm, guys, her hair is, we have two different sets of head. Her hair like thicker oils, mine don't. So I did in my DIY oil for her is castor oil, avocado oil, and some essential oils. If you want the recipe, just let me know down below. Um, I can definitely, you know, give you guys the base on what I use, okay? So I just go ahead and what we're going to do is do her hair into six sections, not four. But here's the point now where I go ahead and I do it into six. This way, if we are doing a protective styling, which we're not, um, she wanted box braids, then she changed her mind because <laughs> she didn't want to sit down all day. So if we are, no matter what style we're doing, if we're doing a protective style, if we're doing braids, if we're doing twists, I like to do Nevada hair on dry hair and dry stretched out hair. So what I do is I put her hair into six ponytails and then I plait her hair. I do not twist her hair because Nevaeh hair, once it is twisted, it is completely a sh like it's completely shrunken. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do get my sectioning correct and go ahead and do this. So you're gonna see this side on camera. I'm not gonna show you the other side. But yeah, this is how I like just do her hair. It's like I said before, it's very self-explanatory. Um, it's very self-explanatory. Her ends definitely, they do need to be cut. But I would get to them <laughs> when I uh, when I get when I get to them. She does want break like she does want plaits, 
but she wants them in her real hair now. She does not want them with the weave anymore. So we're just gonna go ahead and plait up her hair and just enjoy. So now we leave using the, the leave in, but like I said guys, just just enjoy. Christmas Eve is coming soon. Now, are you dear old man? 
Okay guys, so we're towards the end of the video. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like the content, just please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time guys, peace.